Constrictors. I'm Jeff. This is Jenna, and today Jenna is going to show you our new bow constrictor. It's Goro. What is Goro? Something motley flamingo lipstick. Oh, let me get the bag. It's a mouthful. He is a flamingo orange gasm hypo motley and het for coral lipstick. Um, this was a part of a a prearranged. Um, I don't know what you want to call it. A prearranged deal with um, Derek Coleman at Woa Boa. Here's the story. So this is something totally cool that Derek did. He did not have to do. Um, but I totally commend him for doing it, and he has forever earned my business in the boas for any and all future purchases. Uh, but anyway, uh, so he had shipped me a um, Hog Island boa that was a female um, proven breeder um, a year and a half ago. And um, I got stuck at work, and I couldn't get to the airport in a timely manner to get her. Um, over in Orlando so um, she sat at the airport terminal in the air-conditioned office for several hours longer than she should have and when she got back here she seemed okay but she just she never really would eat um, and then she started showing all kinds of signs of respiratory infection um, we treated her for that um, it was several rounds of it and she ended up eating one rat and then it was just a downhill decline after that until she had lost over 50% of her body weight she was so weak and lethargic she couldn't even pick her head up and it was just time to to end her suffering so she got euthanized and Derek even though it wasn't his fault um, told me that he would give me a credit for 100% of what I paid for that snake plus shipping. And last year he didn't produce what I was looking for. Um, so we just kept it on credit. And then this year he produced this guy, which is exactly what we needed to compliment Cassie and Melina. So he is our powerhouse male and anybody that knows more combat characters Goro was like one of the bosses so he got nicknamed or not nicknamed but he got named Goro and appropriately so um, again he is flamingo orange gasm hypo I can't get him in camera hypo motley 
pet lipstick coral. He looks like he's close to my face, but he's not. He's actually close to y'all's faces. So just an update here on the snake room. We've got um, two, possibly three females that are um, projected to lay eggs um, probably in the next two or three weeks. Um, this one I think is going to be first, Jataka. She is extremely big. She's got a lot of girth right here at the base of her tail, which tells me I think they're, they're coming in. Um, that's just my my theory, my uneducated theory. And this one I haven't changed the, the paper towel on recently. But, um, this is Sindel. Sindel is a um, cinnamon lesser. And she had her post ovulation shed a couple of weeks ago while we were in Myrtle Beach. And then Jade is our lesser Enchi and she just ovulated just a couple of days ago. So that's what um, that's what's new here. Um, and just an update on some of our boys. Blaze is getting absolutely huge. Blazes our vanilla fire. He is over 600 grams now. And he is going to do great and wonderful things. And then our latest um, ball python that we just got from the. Ooh, little hissy, are you? Spank. Spank is about to light up the camera. He is our pastel clown. But he is getting big too. He's getting a lot of size on him. He never misses a meal. And... Oh, here's an update of our... Uh, Surgery snake. Seems like he needs to switch to He's Raiden. Can I do Raiden? No. Raiden is doing just fine. No complications from surgery or his antibiotic shots. He's still got a good temperament. Never struck at me. Never bit anything other than his food. We're still giving him a break from breeding, though, letting him uh, fully re recover and comprehend just what he's lost. So he's more careful next time. He's only got one more chance at it. So I came down from to get ready to go to work this morning and she had started. I only saw one egg when I came down, but then I came home for lunch and um, seeing that she is finished, um, she's definitely angry sounding. So fingers crossed, I don't want to get bit. Um, I'm going to hand the camera to Jenna and I'm going to take her off these eggs. And Jenna has left mm -hmm. me. And here you go. I already have the vermiculite box set up. <laughs> she is angry. Like one, two, three, four, five, six good eggs. 
Need the candle then. Make sure she's empty. And she is empty. All right, so Jataka is our, um, no, no, She's Sister's fine. Pastel Fire. I'll double check that, that should be right. Yeah, Sister's Pastel Fire. And mostly I was breeding her with Spanky up until he passed away. So hopefully, fingers crossed, he's the father. Um, but after he passed away, she, I see in my notes that she did breed with um, Raiden, which would also be cool. Um, and Fujin. Fujin is a super pastel calico. And then also in April, she bred with Kano, which is the um, banana and she. Um, Tyler, was that right? Let me see if I can pull these apart. I'm gonna call that the little hook. Oh, I do see some things. Yeah. They're networking off of that right there somewhere. Lay this side up. Can we please stop? They're not great veins, but I do see some, and they're networking off of that, so. Yeah, I can see some. So the pairings, if Spanky is the dad, Spanky was carrying Bright or Spark. And with the fire, they're allelic. So we could have a black eye leucistic in this clutch. Fingers crossed for that. Fingers crossed for the uh, Black Eye Leucistics. That would be, everything would be, if Spanky proves to be the father, he was a visual clown, so that means everything will be heck for clown. You can't get blue eyelid systems with this. I'll change it later, but for now, we're just gonna say nine three. That's two months from today. And then we put it in the incubator that's already set. And then first thing is a thing. 